Sauer from Pittsburgh Art Car and Most Wanted Fine Art. I'm at Fredonia Tire in Fredonia, Pennsylvania with Ronnie Boyd, one of the best demolition derby drivers I've ever met in my entire life, trust me. But what he does have that's really cool is a daily driver Imperial. There's only so many of these that I can find. As you know about the Pittsburgh Art Car, driving around a car dressed up as a demolition derby car is really awesome. And I'm glad that you could bring me here today and tell me about it. Tell me about this car, man. 64 Imperial. It's uh, To me, it's the baddest car out of the box. Uh, like I say, there's nothing compared. I mean, you can do whatever you want to any other car, but this car, right from the factory, is built to built to wreck <laughs> things. Yeah, yeah, this thing's a tough Almost car. Almost had to bleep that out. <laughs> <laughs> now, why'd you paint it number 10? Uh, how I got my number? Or just, you know, how'd you end up painting it and your number, you know? All right, well, I got my number from Ed Schaefer. He was a stock car driver and I was about three years old and my dad painted a six cylinder modified for him. And I was standing beside it and before I even knew how to count one, I just stood beside number 10. I said, boy, that's got, we went, me and my dad and my grandfather went to Mercer Racetrack. I was like, man, I said, that's the car dad painted. I'm, I'm number 10. So it, that, that's how I got that. Nice. And uh, it's a good number. Yep. Well, why, why is it all painted like this? What's, what's going on well, there? This stems from childhood too. My uncle Larry always had, he had a Corvette, I think a 75 or six. Well, can't drive them things in the winter time, so he always bought a winter beater. Well, he bought a 71 Impala, which I didn't know at the time would be a good derby car because I was a little kid. Mm -hmm. Well, he was a Kelly Arbor fan. Number 11, Bush car. Well, he came to the garage at one time he bought this car for 150 bucks just to drive it in the winter he came back to the garage and it was all lettered i mean he painted <laughs> it back before decals was out he painted all the decals everything all on i thought man that's that that's been, really cool you know, something most to see. people just shook their head yeah. like, what's wrong with this guy but it was pretty cool so you got to ride in that car then as a kid oh yeah yep, oh yep Oh man, you yeah, must have been awesome well, right we, around town. We drove it around and put the windows down, climbed out the windows, and people just looked at you. <laughs> how it kind of came about was that, and we would get impalas, and we had a wagon, and we had several impalas. And they were brothers. They would be, oh man, this thing's kind of too good to too good to wreck and too good to smash you. All right, so why not? Well, the paint's all faded. It don't look very nice. Well, why not paint it black and we'll just letter it up. Yeah. We'll just have fun with it for a year and it's going to the derby track anyways, regardless. So well, it was cool. It turns a lot of heads. It does. It's fun to drive a uh, derby car around for a year and then see what people say when you're going to smash it. You're like, oh, I'm going to smash that car. No, you, yeah. Your hearts drop. They're like, oh, you can't smash that beautiful car. And then inside your head, you're like, eh, I might not right. smash that one, but I'm going to smash one like it. Yeah. <laughs> and, out there I mean they're they're a rare car yeah but I got three and they're drivers and so I picked the, the worst one and uh -huh. I was like all right let's just paint the chrome let's just paint it all up just the way I want it I was right. like, oh you're you ruined that car I was like well whatever it's gonna it'll get ruined a lot worse than this when, the, yeah. when it's done with so oh yeah that's really cool I'm so glad I could come find you in this car that's um it's hard to miss oh yeah you can't miss it I'm, it's totally worth the drive to come up from pittsburgh to Fredonia to see this so uh speaking of things worth the drive um on october 8th we're having a uh, hog wild brawl and uh, you guys are a sponsor of the hog wild class which is a yep. super stock class yep. well, that's uh, on october 8th in uh Stumbro, pennsylvania you can find that online um what's the next derby that you're going to run in that we can maybe catch you at different things that I can't say on air so right. I just want to try it out but I do want to I don't know where is the first one I don't know I mean bash for cash I mean you think of that uh, is that not too not far that, away not that far I want to we have some tests oh, so. yeah, before you're ready to run that yeah, yeah I, I'm ready to throw you in and just watch it destroy you know what I mean <laughs> I'm sure you'll do great yeah, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully yes well 
Uh, another festival I want to tell you about is it's uh, September 24th in Garfield in Pittsburgh. It's called the Penn Avenue Arts and Motion Festival, where we have art cars come to our festival, but I also encourage derby cars on a trailer or driven in uh, to be a part of our festival as well. That's from noon to five. You can find that on our website. I'm going to thank you for having me here. This is so great. Yep, thank you. Yeah, you guys want to stay tuned on our uh, YouTube channel. You'll see more about the Boyds this summer. We're going to be filming some more. So for Most Wanted Fine Art and Pittsburgh Art Car, I'm Jason Sauer.